Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome once again my new screencast. Yeah, this was the continuation for the previous screencast. Uh, I already talked about the detail about the, 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 the last screencast about 34, 34, 30, 34. and then it was the screencast from, from 1 to 32 all about the how can you implement or how can we start the enterprise level applications with the with the with the time leap template engines i i had already talked about detail and i already did my development and also the i i already put my source code into the my game, mm, mm, github so we can close look look on those cases and those developments based on this uh, Spring Boot and then uh, time leap template and technologies, and with the GeoServer, Leaplet, and open layers for 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 web map and um, JavaScript libraries integrations. Just close look at this this screencast, and you can get the clear idea uh, how how the integration between the Zio servers and how can you define your micro Zio services with your web applications. That means we will define your geospatial data, data sets uh, uh, in, into the post GIS database and then you define your all necessary services as like WMS services or WFS services into Geo server and then you can call it those services into the your respective web pages. This is one of the screen screen that I, I already discussed in detail about that just please close look on DT1. Today I try to give you to you the really critical uh, yeah, critical or most important approach for the integration of the integration of the geo services that I already defined with this uh, this screencast but today I try to give it to you how can you integrate those services into the uh, angular and then TypeScript uh, and also the the services and uh, it 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 is the same services but you need to be refactor the source code or refactor your HTML side that means you need to call the the proper way to call the service the user server services into the your web pages. Let's have a have a close look on on that those cases. So if you see the 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 new screencast that I already discussed about that one from 35 up to 31 to 35, 140, and then this is the the I started like this way. It's it's completely or in clearly define how the the Angular project structure, how the the dependency management systems, how the the module management and for the and, and necessary dependency uh, in integration into the application dot modules dot ts files that's i that's i already discussed about just close log this those screencast and this is the screencast the final screencast the last last week i did it like angular forms with the different forms of angular like template driven form and reactive form and model driven form and part of the validations and also the data binding for for data binding for the uh, single uh, string interpolations and also the um, you know, property binding and also the event binding that was already discussed about uh, all of the screencast in here you can look at it, this one so let, let's have a close look how how the today i have clearly show you and i start the developments how can you integrate the geo servers and the geo services into the your, your your web pages so you see the but we we as 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 far you know we use the post gis as a backend server and we 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 integrate those um, those uh, those geospatial data set into the PostGIS database and we connect the PostGIS database with the geo server and then we publish the necessary services uh, for our for use cases so you see the different services wms wfs wcs 
and the web map services, web feature services, web coverage services. For, for my case, we use these two WMS service and WFS services. And this just look on the, my previous screencast number 34 and then you see the detail how can you integrate how can you configure and how can you publish your your services via via post gs database and then and then post uh, geo server even though you, if you have a the geo shape files in from the sp format you can directly load the shape files and build the your necessary services and after that you can call the services into the your web pages just close look the previous screencast and you get the clear idea what uh, what can you do here if you look at here i run i am running the geo server and the in in port 777 in the local host if you have a different machines then just you need to change the machine name and this works automatically for your 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 configuration or your deployment so here is the you see the our, our screen for the for the deep uh, when when you start the geo server and then you can stop the geo server so if you start the geo server with all the necessary connectivity and configurations and 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 it's it's called that you basically it's called about the you you configurable data directories because that's you know but but you can close local in my previous screencast you can get the idea really clearly clearly define how can how can you do it and how can you do the optimization for the configurations and even though how can you use change the all the admin user passwords and then that thing you can close look that one so in end effect you can see here the effect of the of the of the geo services like angular typescript based geo server wms service call in ui so you see that this is our angular based applications you see that this is the all the road networks uh, the detailed road network from from bangladesh i this is open source data set i get i got from the from the geo uh, geo, uh, geo fabric and i integrate the, this data set into the post gis and from the post gis i connect the geo server and configure the geo server and publish the services and then after that the services call into the your your component pages i mean the your html pages and i will show you when i start the developments in the next screencast this one so you see the complete pictures and then yeah, you have seen see the the you have the overview maps and then there is the scales i i think so i need to be standing changing here so you see that and then it didn't saw the scales here so here you see the details and the same pictures because it was the the detail you see the red line here red points and you can see the here detail informations uh, the the register plots buildings floor and units and those things is is the is the register that means that your network data set is a is a is a is a free data set you can take from the geo fabric and then integrate those data set into the your your web applications that means you have a really more detailed road network data set even though in a lot of cases the open street map has a lot of the public uh, uh, open source the buildings and plots and then even though uh, buildings and plot informations and detail POI point of interest information that's things you can get it from the uh, open state matter from geo geo fabric server and then you need to integrate those those data set into the your applications and then here is the 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 angular typescript this is the our our register plot information you see there some some plots or some buildings is registered here and then with the all all the uh, root networks and then this is the register buildings and, and this is the data directly coming from the from the geo server uh, geo server service call so that's that's i need to be show you how how can you call the services and how can you integrate the geo server into the your angular and typescript based um, you know, web applications so finally i will i would like to thank you just continue the 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 screen the previous screen and continue my i will continue my further developments and 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 write down your commands and that's help to 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 to, to, to do the better way and then you, and it's it's uh, i try i and i will try my best to 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 give it to you feedback for those cases and now i will try to continue the the development let's let's start the developments